Let me, let me see. <laughs> Swallow So why if Lucci is sentenced to date, he will serve just three. Hold on, hold on. Let me, yeah, here we go. My boy wife and Lucci was in court like, yeah, man. And I got out of real. Of correction. His hair grew. The felony which carries a sentence for. My boy Drew feeling in there. It's just not that sort of. Let's get to the part where he apologized for. It would be. For Sparta kicking out of his car. Because his. You know what I mean? It's upholstery. You feel me? Let's see if we get to it. Section 20. Mr. Banks, do you think or Mr. Banks? I'd like. Yes, thank you. Yeah, that's Lucy right there. Hey, listen. When you're a good lawyer, man, you cooler with the prosecutor than you cool with your own team, man. Anytime, first of all, if you go, if you hire a lawyer, if his hair not slick back, you guilty. Facts. That's a fact. If you hire a white lawyer, if his hair not slick back, you're guilty. Trust me. You ain't beating that case. Your lawyer, no disrespect, your lawyer, like, this is how you know you got a, a good lawyer. Like, sometimes I've hired a lawyer of, like, a website, whatever. Back in the daytime, shit for some random shit. When I show up to court, there's two things I look at. If he got a big nose and a slick back hairstyle, like, you know what I mean? One of those, one of them ones. I'm like, yo, I'm beating this shit. Yeah, this shit ain't going far as a motherfucker. I'm beating this one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm beating this shit. Of course. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, yeah, nigga. Like, yeah. Yeah. This nigga, that's how he should come to court. All right. Let me see. Where did my man um, Lucci address the court? And he apologized for the fuck shit he did. I want to apologize to the family. Yes. Do you understand that this is a um, negotiated plea, which means the state... Hey, by the way, you know how happy Lucci is to get out of prison, bro, or jail? Remember Young Thug was authorizing all type of niggas to stab him up? He got stabbed already? Like, y'all remember that? Now, keep in mind, let me ask you a question. If you Lucci now, you just got free. Young Thug done authorized for you to get stabbed up and killed. You finally made it out alive. You now on the free side. Are you going to try to have niggas pull a play on Thug and try to get him stabbed up? Or are you going to be like, you're going to leave it alone? You're just going to leave it alone and be like, you know, this, enough is enough. State will recommend a sentence of under count 69. The recommended sentence is 20, serve 10. Balance probated, and the special conditions of probation is, are no street gang um, activity, no contact with any known street gang members or associates, no contact with the co-defendants, Reginald Carter, Artez Carter, Justin Ushery, Demonte Thomas, Tadricus Glass, Rayshon, I'm sorry, uh, Rayvon Boyd, Leroy Pitts, Rondavius Hawkin, and Derek Adams, no guns or replica guns, no gang affiliation or conduct associated with gangs on social media. You must be gangfully employed and no further violations of the law. Do you understand that those are the conditions? Yes. Uh, and, and Ms. Christian, I just wanted to make sure that the record is clear. You said this was a negotiated uh, plea. This is a negotiated recommendation, but it's officially and formally a blind plea. I just want to yes. make sure the record is clear. Yes, Judge. Mm -hmm. Do you understand that those are the statutory conditions of your Yes. Session? Do you also understand that you are to have no violations of state or federal laws while serving out any portion of your sentence to include any period of incarceration, to comply with all the rules maintained by county jail where you're housed um, prior to being transported to any facility within the Department of Corrections where you're designated to serve out your sentence. Comply with all the rules maintained by any facility within the Department of Corrections where you are designated to serve out the remaining sentence. Um, you waive a right to appeal any and all terms and conditions of this plea agreement and the sentence imposed, as well as any right possessed in connection with OCGA 244-410. And if you violate any of the special conditions that the state is free to revoke the sentence and recommend any penalty allowable under the law, including that you be sentenced to the maximum for the charge in which you okay. plead guilty. It's true regardless of any under these charges in the indictment would have been life without the possibility of parole plus 20, 220 years followed by five years consecutive. Damn, that's what he was facing? 
Do you understand that that's what you were initially charged with an indictment? Yes. Do you understand that the state has agreed to no cross counts 1, 68, 72, 73, 60, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, and 83? Yes. So, Ms. Christian, the only uh, charge under this uh, recommendation is count 69. Is that correct? Yes, Judge. All right. Excuse me. Is, is there a timestamp on him speaking? Does anybody know? Hmm. I guess there's no timestamp. Uh, let me just look it up. Um, apologizes. He apologizes. Let's see. Okay, here, here we go. Here we go. Served just three and a half months. Oh, uh, shit. Of the Bloods gang. Possession of a firearm during the. Wait, I'm trying to see the apology. Jail where you're having. Um, uh, would you like to tell me anything about your client and share anything about the uh, plea? Yes, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, uh, Your Honor RT, no cloud. What up, bro? Uh, this man is After shots were fired, defendant, um, the defendant dropped the right to testify on your own behalf. And if you receive, possess, or use, or transport a firearm, you'll be guilty of a felony which carries a sentence for penal and for visit. Yeah, I can't find it. Corporate executives came to guilty. It would probably have to be after this. This would be. Thank you, Mr. Bennett. Uh, let me just. Oh, here we go. Uh, first. Oh, oh here it is. Oh, it's really true. Four sentences imposed. You're free to make a statement, but only if you wish to do so. Would you like to make a statement at this time? Mm, yes. All right. Uh, first off, um, I want to say my heart goes out to my friend James Adam. And his family. Um, also, I want to apologize to my family and my friends for putting them through this stressful process. And I would also like to apologize to the court. And that's it. All right. Well, thank you, Mr. Bennett. Uh, let me just confirm with the state that the only pending charge in this recommendation is count 69. Yes, Judge. And what is that charge? The violation of the street gang. Okay, okay, that's what he got sentenced uh, to for. Okay, all right, all right, man. Holy shit. All right, I'm done with the jail call. What else do I got to talk about on this bitch? What's this? What's this? Oh, they said this is the post that they used of mine in court. And apparently this helped out Young Thug. So apparently one of my Instagram posts helped out Young Thug kind of, you know, make his case let me let me hear this yes and do you see what jeffrey williams wrote yes what do you write okay here we go how do i put this right here all right here we go why well, i say a word work here 24 M -O -O -N -H. Okay. I'd like to now show you um, your next line. You you responded thereafter, right? Yes. Four minutes later or eight minutes later is approximately? Yeah. True? Yeah. And that's the same date, February 4, 2021, we're talking about? Yes. And this is all in the indictment, right? Yes. And then you wrote what? Came from nothing for something. All right. And then there's another uh, video being shared on the next person, right? Yes. All right. I'd like to now play for you. You've already identified uh, Mr. Williams number three and 3A, okay? Yeah. And show it to you and you walk the jurors through what it is. Oh, this is my Instagram uh, page, this video. Who is that speaking? 
Jeffrey. And what, what, what did he say, at least, Jim Jury, to your understanding? And what's he talking about? He's talking about uh, Uzi putting the diamond on his head. He's saying the price of what they're saying that the diamond costs. And he's saying, why well, I still rule the world. And show, please, Mr. Kokomo, uh, Mr. Williams, number three. Okay, so I, I guess they're basically saying maybe one of those. I guess the prosecutor may have been using it as a threat, as oh, whatever million on somebody's head, and they're like, no, he was talking about jury. They used my Instagram post to show that he was alluding to the the diamond that Uzi put in his head, and then Uzi now uh, they're showing the YouTube video that kind of like um, corroborates all of that. Okay, that makes sense. Let me see as well. Give me one second. Um, where's the other shit at? Okay. Now, I ain't gonna lie, man. This this slug dude, I don't know how long he's been on the stand, but this nigga is straight comedy. Did y'all see this shit? This nigga is pure comedy. Here we go. If I can find it. By the way, this is supposed to be my page. I don't know why. I okay, here we go. Can you play the video? You don't mind? Uh, slime. Mr. Stevens, do you recognize a person who is going around the circle of Mr. Williams number 15A? Yes. And who is that person? LeBron James. And did you hear um, him say, or did you see him rather, uh, do something with his hand that's similar to what is depicted in Mr. Williams 15? Yes. And uh, what did he do with his hand? Um, wiped it across the nose. And have you been asked by the prosecution about the use of the word spot? Yes. Same word that LeBron James used. Yes. Is there something sinister to you? with the use of the word slime? No. Okay. And the wiping of the nose, is that anything sinister that, that signifies some sort of gang on Cleveland Avenue? No, we only did that for like, we were smoking weed, and that's to say your weed loud. We put our finger on our nose. And do you know whether besides Mr. James, other actors, do that. Have you seen other people do that? I don't have a to the form of the question. A standing question. Have you seen other basketball players do that same movement? Yes. Have you seen football, professional football players do that? Yes. Have you seen coaches in football, college football do that? No more about no coach. Okay. Have you seen college players do that? Mr. Stevens, please speak on the microphone. <laughs> Pull yourself up as close as you can to the mic. Speaking, I wasn't even answering it. Huh? I wasn't answering the question. I, I, know, I know, but we're, oh, having, my, uh, we're having a hard time. That's much better. See, everybody can hear you. I got you. Okay, all right. Do you know? Yeah, th this shit is like, uh, it, it's basically just a bunch of bullshit anyway. Um, no matter what happens, clearly the prosecutors are looking for a long time. We'll see if they actually get it. Y'all seen Kendrick? New picture of Kendrick. I don't even know where Kendrick lives at. Does Kendrick even live in the United States? I'm still like, you know, I feel like, I know some of y'all be like, because I like Drake, I'm extra harsh on Kendrick. Kendrick definitely, I felt like he penned in the in, in his like little letter that he was going to be around more often now that he was off TDE, except we don't see him still. So, you know, I hope he's living a good life. I guess like, you know, whatever um, he's choosing to do, he's down with. But, brother, I, I'm just wondering why he's just never like around. It's just kind of crazy. Anyway. Okay, what else? I feel, I feel like there's a bunch of stuff I'm missing. Uh, give me a second. Okay. Oh, so, yo, I'm going to lie to you, which 
I should have known something along the lines like this was going to come down. So the whole – have you all heard about this whole Vince McMahon thing? So Vince McMahon, who's the long story CEO, pretty much founder of the WWE. So YFN Lucci. YFN Lucci basically – He's going to be a free man in the next three to four months, man. Well, halfway free at least. He's going to be on probation so for 10 years. So let's pray that he, you feel me, doesn't get caught in the trap. But YFN Lucci, you feel me, he really kept it solid, man. Like We didn't hear anything coming, up, coming out about him telling her anything. Honestly... This case really, really helped his career. I'm not gonna lie. Because when he comes out, besides the ones who really like fuck with Young Thug Heavy, like the other type of artists, like the Young Boys and like the Rod Waves and like the people, like the neutral people or people who don't like, they stay away from like the industry group, they're gonna start fucking with him heavy because he kept it solid. Like he didn't snitch on anybody. No paperwork's coming out about him. He kept it solid. While YSL, on the other hand, telling, you got someone on the stand. He looks crazy. You got someone else acting like he's mentally insane. Man, it's a lot going on in, in all these cases, bro. Like, we don't really, you feel me? We don't really fully know what's going on with everything, bro. Like, it's very, very crazy. And I'm... I'm happy for wife and Lucy because the case that he was fighting and all the stuff, I don't know how he got away with it or what. I think everyone stayed solid and they didn't really have any evidence. Honestly, I feel like they don't even want wife and Lucy, which is crazy. They just, they just want young thug and wife and Lucy, his case, his lawyer is so good. And he's not connected to the young thug case at all. First off, he doesn't have to go and testify against anything. He says he doesn't know anything. Like, he just straight kept it straight solid, man. He has to do three more months, and then he is a free man. When Lucci gets freed, I feel like he's going to get a lot of love from the industry. You feel me? Will he get Regine back? Most likely, because, you know, she's with the Armand dude, or Tr I don't know what his name is, Armand, Trey. I don't know which one's which. She's with him, but you know, he's one of them uh, YouTube boys. Now, when a real gangster like Lucci come out, she might go back, you feel me? Lucci, he threw, allegedly threw his homeboy out the car or someone out the car, their dead body out the car in a moving car. So, hey, man. We don't even know. We don't know what's what, but hopefully all goes well for wife and lucy hopefully all goes well for young thug and the even the ones not keeping it solid what's the best for everybody i mean the whole situation on both sides it's just sad bro like lucy he's a good man i ain't gonna lie well i don't personally know him but like he's a you feel me stand on business man you know he stood on business thug he stands on business too both the heads of their operations. It's just tough because you read the comments and stuff and they say, why if it Lucci kept it more real and kept it more solid than YSL as a gang together? But as we found out after this case, YSL really stands for Young Snitch Life. So we, we're not really surprised when situations like this happen anymore. But um. In the comments below, let me know what you guys feel about this whole thing. And yeah, I'll be in the comments reading, looking for, you feel me? People's reactions, how they feel about this. Lucci coming out soon. Do we think Thug's going to get a type of plea deal like this where he'll come out in three, four months? So a lot of people talking in the Thug case, so we'll have to wait and see. But we could only wish for the best. It's your boy, Big Act News. And I am out.